Welcome back, everyone. My name is Alex. I'm with ShopKSIH.com. Today, we have another special guest. We have Mike Kasem here of Octane Press. He's the lead illustrator for the Casey and Friends book series. How's it going today, Mike? Good. Good. How are you, Alex? Great. It's another beautiful day out here. So, yeah. we'd like to pick your brain a little bit today. and We already talk, talked with uh, Holly Defect, and now we'd like to see the man behind the drawings of Casey and Friends and all, and all the cool illustrations that go into those books. So, uh, Mike, please tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure. Well, um, I grew up in Brookfield, Wisconsin, and uh, right even in high school, I knew I wanted to be an illustrator. It was really my favorite thing to do is to draw pictures in school and uh, be distracted through all that. But uh, yeah, I grew up in Brookfield, um, went to Milwaukee Institute of Art and Design for four years, got a bachelor's degree in art, and uh, started pursuing illustration. Worked at a design firm for about two years, and uh, for about 30 years, been on my own, just doing illustration work for uh, various clients. So, yeah. Cool. Just making it on your own. Started from, uh, started from doodling and that was your passion, huh? Yeah, that was my passion. It was always something, it's just what I really enjoyed the most was uh, um, just drawing pictures, creating things with my mind, um, and just, I guess, not staying inside the lines, you know? So that's <laughs> what I really enjoyed. Um, yeah, and so I met my wife in uh, college, and... Uh, we lived in Milwaukee after we got married and then probably about 18 years ago, moved out to Elkhorn, Wisconsin and uh, been living on uh, 12 acres ever since. So love living in the country. It's good stuff. Jealous. Jealous. <laughs> right. Awesome. <laughs> so uh, what are your favorite aspects of illustrating? What, what, what speaks to you when you make a drawing? I think it's just the open, the creativity that I can um, pour myself into a sketch or uh just develop a concept and uh, use use just my God-given talents to um, to bring something to life, you know, to um, maybe create something that hasn't been thought of before or just to have something that's really engaging that can just pull people into a drawing or pull people into a concept. And uh, um, just, it's kind of like creating eye candy, I guess I would say, you know, it's just creating <laughs> things that are nice visually to look at that are appealing and pleasing and uh, yeah fun to look at engaging so that's what I really enjoy I really enjoy doing that a lot um, and I've actually been able to use that I've done sculpture in the past too uh, cool. some these things of a sculpture out of steel and just just having this creative uh, approach to things that um, yeah can be visually pre pleasing I like I enjoy that a lot what's what's more difficult uh, the drawing and sketching or sculpting um, I, think, I don't think either one's really difficult. I think they just have a completely different feel to them, you know, and because every sculpture I do always starts with a sketch too, and it, it starts with a, a sketching stage, and then it's just, it's a different medium to complete the, the project, you know, whereas now everything in the book is usually a sketch and then digital or direct to digital, whereas with the sculpting, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's sketch to creating something with steel, cutting it out and, bending shapes and welding, welding with, um, drawing with a welder. So it's a lot of fun. Cool. Yeah. So I had imagined uh, as a kid, a high school and probably in a college, you did everything by hand instead of digital. Um, yeah. and, and as you all can see, we have these really cool sketches that Mike's provided for us. He's going to do one by hand and then he's going to show us another one, uh, fully digital. Uh, what do you prefer? Uh, do you prefer by hand or on the computer? Um, I really enjoy working on the computer because you can um, manipulate it a lot after it's been created. Whereas with a sketch, a lot of times it's like, how many times can you rework that to get it where you want it? Where on a computer, I can completely change the digital digital um, aspects of it. You know, whether it's moving a line or changing the colors or tweaking it, it's really endless on a computer. And uh, whereas a lot of times it's, it's much more labor intensive to be working with paint or an airbrush, I used to airbrush everything. And it was just, it's really hard to make changes, you know, it's not as versatile. So yeah, I really like about working in the digital world. Yeah. Interesting. I thought it was going to be the opposite. Of, uh, <laughs> well, it's been a while. I mean, it's been a while too. I have done some, some paintings for various projects too, like acrylic or oil. And um, as long as it, it's, you know, when I'm putting into it myself and it's for me and I can do whatever I want, usually I, 
it's easier because and more fun, I guess, because I can keep changing it and tweaking and building up layers and things. But um, a lot of times there's um, a lot of times there's a client involved and you want to make sure that you're also pleasing what the client needs and making sure you, um, you know, have a foot in both worlds where it's what I like to do and what the client needs to do too. So um, that's the beautiful thing about working on the computer. You know? oh. So I'd like to uh, pick your brain now about some Casey and friends stuff. So uh, first off, do you have a background in farming? Uh, how did you jump on to the team to help with Casey and friends? Yeah. Um, I actually don't have a background in farming. My background in farming right now is the fact that I live on 12 acres. I live out in the country and uh, nine acres of it is uh, share crop. It's all horse hay, but um, there's farming around me. Like right now I look out my, my window here and there's about 20 acres of soybeans and there's about 50 acres of corn. And so, yeah, I live around the community and just see what's going on. And um, got a beautiful apple orchard down the street. And so I really enjoy living out here. Um, but I haven't been a farmer, so I mean, I haven't had a garden once. And so, but I love, I love the aspects of it. I love being out here. I love seeing the seasons change. But I actually got to uh, work on this project because I, I worked in the past for Equity um, Creative, and they were the design team that that helps Casey and friends put everything together, and um, for Case. And so it was just a, a great opportunity. I'd done work for them in the past, and they knew of my work and so I jumped in kind of midstream but I've been working on it for I don't know five six years something like that so it's been just a wonderful yeah quite a blessing to be able to work on it so that's how I got involved cool yeah and and what what is your inspiration when you create a character how do you how do you find ideas how do you start is there research tell us all about that process sure well one of the most recent ones we did was Dave the Drone and he's this, this really cute little character that um, checks out stuff from the, you know, thousand foot view and gets, um, gives a lot of information to Casey and her friends. And um, so when we're developing that one, obviously we look at what a drone looks like and we start with that as the basis of it. And from there we just build into, right, what are his characteristics? Like what are his attitudes? What's his demeanor? And so we try to build that all into what the character looks like and is he happy? Is he, you know, maybe a little bit more of a grumpy character or is he just a hard worker? And we just build that into him. And uh, Dave's just this kind of fun, happy guy that just loves to cruise around and, you know, help out Casey however he can. So we just try to build that into the eyes and a little bit of his attitude. And, and that's how we do that. So, yeah. Yeah. Are there any obstacles? I know, you know, everybody's working from home and, and you illustrate at home. Are there any obstacles with not having Holly around, not having your author around to, to sit down and talk out a project? Not really. Um, we do, you know, early on in the book, we'll have meetings where there's four or five of us and we get together and we talk about the content of the book and uh, Holly will give a rough draft and, and we just kind of work through things. Um, this is a great team of people and we know the, all the characters really well and um, kind of how they would approach thinking about um, different things like the last one tech on the farm is a great book and it's really all about the technology that goes into it and so we sat down and uh, had se several meetings about it but um, just working through it and this was all uh, earlier or probably about a year ago or so um, but you know we've gotten together just on conference calls or calls or whatever to just to talk through things and make sure we're all on the same page as far as what the book is going to communicate and so sure. yeah that's worked out pretty good I don't know, you just mentioned tech on the farm. Um, do you have a favorite book or, or perhaps a favorite illustration that you'd like to talk to us about? Um, actually, there's a, there's a couple of really fun ones in the last book. Um, one of them is actually where um, Casey gets out and she's fishing. And uh, she's actually, I love to fish. I love to kayak fish. And uh, we were just talking about that a little bit earlier. But um, yeah, so she's sitting on a pier. She's got her phone there, I think. I think it was her phone and her, her iPad. And she's fishing. So she's not, she's working, but she's also enjoying what she's doing at the same time. And so I get to have like a large mouth bass, you know, jumping out of the water. And uh, it was really a fun spot. Um, there's another, another illustration we're going to do in the book too, is where Casey's actually at a cafe. And for whatever reason, that one had to get pulled, but that was a really fun illustration. Was, as it will do some throwback, a little throwback 60s uh, nostalgic stuff in the cafe. And it was a lot of fun, but. You got yeah. to be a little extra creative on that one then. Right. So, okay. yeah. and then um you know for all the parents out there who are watching and hopefully kids with them what takeaways do you want 
the kids and the parents to walk away with after they see your illustrations and, and read these stories? Yeah. I, I think the biggest thing is this that um, farming is an amazing thing. You know, it's, it's no longer what it was 30, 40, 100 years ago for sure. It's amazing technology that goes into it. And uh, um, it's a lot of hard work. You know, and, and even in Casey, I think she shows it's a lot of hard work and uh, she relies on her equipment a lot to get it done. And um, it's, it's not, yeah, it's not like it used to be. So I guess the biggest takeaway for me would be, um, hopefully these books are encouragement. You know, hopefully they're a good learning tool. Um, hopefully that they can just show what hard work, how hard work pays off and um, how it can be encouragement to uh, really dig into um, something that, you know, I, I, farmers I think right now are, are, I don't want to say they're a dying breed, but farming's changing so much. And I hope and pray that there's guys out there and, and girl, women out there, girl, boys and girls that would, you know, love to embrace farming because it's just such a, a needed thing and it's um, a wonderful occupation. Yeah. So right. That's what they take away from this is that they can be encouraged by these books and read to their kids for sure. Yeah. All right. That's for all you parents out there. All right. Well, that's all I've got today. I appreciate your time, Mike. And again, my name's Alex Furman. I'm with shopcaseih.com. Make sure to check back in for our next exciting video. Uh, we'll hopefully be getting a live reading with Holly on one of her favorite books. So stay tuned. Thanks, Mike. Have a good okay. one. Thanks, Alex. Thank you.